Before I get into this video, I want to remind you that we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers, and if we get there by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we'll be giving away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom, a Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED, also one of those special pin sets from, uh, I believe, PAX East, right? One of those exclusive Tears of the Kingdom pins. Also, we're working with a couple companies to maybe sweeten the deal and make sure multiple people get to win some stuff, some cool t-shirts and everything, but those details are still being worked out. For now, let's just keep grinding on our way to 100K. Today is an interesting day. It's April 1st, of course, April Fools. You guys have seen a ton of jokes out there, fake Nintendo Directs, fake announcements. Uh, my video earlier today wasn't one of those. It was actually an actual discussion video. Maybe that's why I did so well, because I wanted to take a look at the art book leaks and, and, and talk about how it kind of compares to what we know now, how it might shape the beginning of the game, and all of that stuff. And that was a great video. I hope you guys go check it out. But what's interesting when I sit here and think about today is we've been waiting, what, almost six years, over six years, almost six years, I guess, since E3 2019, right? Because E3 happened in June, so it's going to be just under six years that we've been waiting uh, for this game, you know, when it comes to when it originally came out, you know, after the DLC and everything. Uh, since 2019, that's what, five years or something like that, four years. Look, the point is we've been waiting a long time for Tears of the Kingdom, and we're going to talk a bit about what that wait has felt like for me as a Zelda fan. But I am happy to say Tears of the Kingdom comes out next month, guys. It's April 1st. Tears of the Kingdom's out in six weeks. Next month, Tears of the Kingdom is here. Let that sink into your head for a moment. I don't care about all the April Fool's jokes. This is not a joke. Tears of the Kingdom is out next month. Let that sink into our brains. The All the big countdowns. The waiting for gameplay, the waiting for trailers and directs and for marketing to really begin, it's out next month. The wait is almost over. Heck, I just made a purchase today to make sure I could actually live stream the damn thing the way that I want to, because apparently I'm an idiot when I do my setups and I don't think about everything. I mean, I am just one person, so uh, I've got to give a shout out to my fiance. She's been helping a lot lately. Look. Tears of the Kingdom is the Zelda game we've all been waiting for. It is the coup de grace. Link's Awakening remake, that was wonderful. Age of Calamity, pretty solid, right? Pretty solid. Some of you guys even love that game. So story-wise, some of you guys love it gameplay-wise. But the coup de grace, the game we've been waiting for, is Tears of the Kingdom. And I gotta say, it does feel like we've been waiting a long time. This isn't your typical direct sequel. It didn't take three maybe four years max, like we see with other games that get direct sequels. This took a long time. Now, clearly COVID played a role. We can't ignore that we did, had an entire pandemic since the game was announced to release. An entire pandemic happened in the middle of that. Like, that's crazy to think about, and that probably played a huge role in this game not coming a year or two sooner. But... Here we stand today, and we know it's coming, and there's a lot of talk about the DLC aspect. Like, it's just, it started as DLC, it's in the same world, blah, blah, blah. It visually doesn't look much better. And I try to remind people at every turn when we think about that is, yes, but this wasn't six years of straight development. That's, that's what's missed in here. A pandemic happened, and I think we can't just ignore... That was the case as we've seen game after game after game after game get delayed all across the industry the last two years. We can't sit here and pretend there weren't delays for Tears of the Kingdom. In fact, we have proof it was delayed from last year, that they were making Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED in June of last year, according to beat em ups and now we're sitting here and the game isn't coming out till May of this year. That could have been an almost six-month delay just from last year. Who knows what other development delays happened along the way, probably because of having to work from home and no longer all being in the office and dealing with the transition of that, let alone if some employees got sick from COVID or dealt with family problems. Like, There's a lot of things that could have caused this game to take longer than usual. This isn't your typical six-year development cycle. This is more like four years with some extended time in there of probably a fifth year where it would have come out. So it probably would have been about four years of total development if it wasn't for the pandemic. So I do think this was probably meant to launch in 2020 is what I'm trying to say, but obviously that didn't happen. So it has been a long time. 
And there is going to be concern, of course, that it can't live up to the hype that Breath of the Wild brought, and it can't live up to the $70 price tag. Now, look, $70, that's a, a, an interesting debate, right? It's in the eye of the beholder. I've said this the whole time. Value is in the eye of the beholder. I think the general worry about $70 is less about this game. It's more about... Will Nintendo start pricing all their games at $70? You know, Sony didn't do it until they went to super powerful hardware and yada, yada, yada. Um, and there's been talks, I think, for player essence that the $70 price point has failed. I don't I don't really think that that's the case. I think uh, PlayStation 5's not being out on the market and being heavily scalped all these years, that might have played a role in the $70 games not selling as well as the $60 PS4 versions. But that's neither here nor there. Here we stand today. And Tears of the Kingdom comes out next month. And it's been a hard wait. I, I can't lie to you guys. Announced at, at E3, you know, 2019, there was a lot of hype for this game. And then, bam, end of end, end of the year, you start to hear murmurs of a pandemic. It, it really becomes real at the beginning of 2020. The whole world seems to get put on pause. We're all stuck at home. Things are going crazy. We're arguing over vaccines and other other things, you know, a lot of people losing family members. I really hope that everyone watching this video didn't have any serious um, outcomes from COVID. But, you know, that is something some people dealt with. And, you know, knock on wood, I wasn't one of them. I didn't lose any family members to it or have any serious complications long term. But I do think that this weight has been exasperated by the fact that we did have a pandemic. We had a lot of time to play video games the last couple of years, and it would have felt nice if we could have deep dove into Tears of the Kingdom. Instead, we did get Animal Crossing New Horizons, which came at the right time. We did get some uh, games from Xbox and Sony along the way as well. We got Halo, uh, Returnal, you know, stuff like that to play. Age of Empires 4 came out during this time. For me, anyways, that was a good one to come out. We had an expansion pack for World of Warcraft, but... We didn't really get that big Zelda game from Nintendo that we hoped to get. We got Age of Calamity, which was a pretty solid game, but it's it's not a traditional Zelda. This weight has been excruciating, and I think it's hitting that fever pitch now. Almost every video I make about Tears of the Kingdom performs very well. Over 10,000 views. I'm even getting over 10,000 views in other videos, so maybe it's not just the Zelda wave. Maybe we just caught something in the algorithm, and now we're just getting our video shared to more people. Because uh, the click-through rates right around what we usually get. We're just now getting to more people, which is awesome. I think that we have hit this point now where we're starting to get a little bit of relief, right? They started the marketing at PAX East. Then they led into the gameplay where he said, this is what we can show for now, hinting that they're going to be showing more before launch. Before, before long, we're going to have previews popping up in a few weeks. We're going to end up having reviews popping up, uh, like popping up in five weeks. We're going to have lots of gameplay clips popping up from various media outlets. We're going to have more advertising from Nintendo. There's going to be a launch trailer, maybe a Zelda Direct, maybe some other crazy stuff. I kind of feel like we've hit that relief period, that relief period we've all been waiting for. Like, okay, it's finally okay to just be excited that this game is coming because it's not being delayed. We know when it's coming out, and it's next month. It's sooner than it's ever been. Tomorrow, I believe, we enter 40 days to go. You know, that's incredible. And I think we're just all really excited to finally allow our hype levels to be above our heads and not be worried. I think we've been afraid to be hyped for this game. And now my fear is gone. My, my hype overload is here. I'm super excited for Tears of the Kingdom. And I think all of you are as well. Uh, so let me know what you're most excited about. For, you know what? How about this? We know about four abilities, right? We have Ultra Hand. We have Recall. Uh, I'm going to try to get these all. We have Fuse. See, Fuse, Ultra Hand, Recall. Oh, no. What's the fourth ability? Um, the one where you could go up and through surfaces. What's that called again? Ascend. Ascend. Ascend, Recall, Ultra Hand, and Fuse. Got it. Which of those four abilities are you most excited about? Like, I I'm serious. Remember, Ultra Hand is the crafting of, um, of your vehicles. Fuse is the weapon thing. So those are not the same abilities. I just want to make that clear. So... Let me know which one of those you're most excited about down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime. And man, oh man, oh man, it's next month, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.